This is chapter three, adjusting accounts for financial statements. We're taking a look at an alternate version of exercise 3-10, computing and interpreting profit margin. The problem reads, use the following information to compute profit margin for each separate company, A through E. So for company A, they have net income of $6,240 and net sales of $60,000. So to compute the net profit margin, we're simply going to take net income divided by sales and that will equal the profit margin. So for part A, net income of 62,400 divided by sales of 60,000 gives us a profit margin of 10.4%. So what does this mean? Well, it means basically for every $100 the company had in sales, they had $10.40 of profit. For company B, 70,200 divided by 300,000 is 23.4%. So here for every $100 in sales, these guys had $23.40 in profit. They tended to be much more profit profitable and operating much more efficiently. For C, 44,100 divided by 140,000 is 31.5%. 31, D, 3,190 divided by the net sales of 110,000 equals the profit margin of 2.9%. And finally for E, 33,250 of net income divided by net sales of 190,000 gives a profit margin of 17.5%. So which company had the strongest of all the profit margins? Which company was being the most efficient by turning their comparative level of sales into net income. Clearly that was company C with a strong, strong profit margin of 31.5%.